Hello everyone, it's Tracy. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks very much for joining me. So today I'm doing an assembly tutorial for the 3D mailbox die set designed by Nicole Silhouette. Let's get started. I have the die set here and there are many pieces to this die set to make the mailbox. I have them mounted on two sheets of A4 magnetic card. These dies along the top here, they're decorator dies and I won't be using them for this tutorial. So let's have a look at the pieces. We've got the left and the right side of the mailbox and you cut one each of those. This is part of the lid and you cut one of these. This smaller piece is another part of the lid and you just cut one of those. This piece is the front of the mailbox and you cut one of these. I'm indicating there that that's the bottom and we'll apply adhesive to that part. This is the lid of the mailbox and we cut two of these because one also is the base of the mailbox. This is the back of the mailbox and there's no cutting edge along that part of the die so when you cut it it looks like this and you can make the back of your mailbox as high as you like. The size I like to do mine is 18 centimetres because when we get down to inches it's seven and one line after the seven inches which I think is what's called one thirty second of an inch and that's just getting too tricky. So I'm going back to metric here. So I've got my piece here cut down to 18 centimetres and I think that's a nice size. So I've got the pieces here to the mailbox and I've gone ahead and I've folded and burnished along the score lines. You can also see I have gone ahead and put double sided sticky tape where there would be adhesive which is how we're going to stick this mailbox together. You could use glue but I've decided to use double sided tape. For both pieces of the lid you just fold one along the score line and the second piece you do not fold. We'll just leave that and I'll talk about that a bit later. So I've got my left and right side of the mailbox and the front and we're going to stick these together. So I'm removing the release paper from the double sided tape and I'm going to stick the front of the mailbox to the side of the mailbox and I'm taking my time making sure that it's lined up correctly. I have sped the video up in parts of this tutorial because I do actually spend a fair bit of time fluffing around making sure that the pieces that I'm sticking together are straight and even. And that pays off in the end when your project looks amazing. So I'm just burnishing where I've stuck those pieces together to make sure the tape gets a good hold and that's the front and the two sides of the mailbox done and I'm going to set that aside for later. Now I'm going to be working on the lid and I'm going to stick these pieces together and I always find it's better to stick the two front pieces together first before gluing the side pieces together. So again just taking my time making sure that's straight. Remove the release paper. I always use my scalpel these days to remove the release paper from double sided tape it's just so much easier. So I'm just getting ready to glue this last tab down from this side, just putting it into place, pressing it down, making sure the tape's got a good hold. And now we'll finish off the other side with this smaller piece, remove the release paper. And that tab on the end gets attached to that front part there. So I just line it up, push it into place, tuck that tab under there, press that in place and then you can press the final tab in place because everything falls together so so beautifully. And that's the lid done. Now onto the base. The base is the bottom of the mailbox and we're going to use that remaining piece that we cut and we're going to cut along that score line that we would have folded but we didn't and we're going to remove that piece altogether. Then we're going to take it to the scoreboard and we're going to put a score line one quarter of an inch in all the way down. And this is going to give us a glue tab so that we can attach it to our mailbox. You don't have to do it this way, you can do it any way you like, but this is the way that I found to be a bit easier. So I'm going to fold and burnish along this newly created score line. 
and once I've done that I'm going to get my scissors and I'm going to cut on a diagonal on each end of that piece and this is so when we're putting it together it will go together a lot nicer so we've now made a glue tab for the base of our mailbox and I'm just bringing in the front and the sides of the mailbox now and I'm going to check to make sure that it's going to fit so I'm just lining it up and checking that that's going to fit and it will so now I'm going to attach the base to the mailbox and I'm going to remove all the release papers from the tabs along the bottom of the mailbox now I have all the adhesive exposed I'm going to stick the base piece into place making sure that I'm lining it up and things are straight before pressing down and I like to give them a burnish too and then I'm just working my way around attaching the base to the glue tabs sorry if you get a bit dizzy and I've turned you upside down it just it's very difficult sometimes when you're filming to get a good angle so that you can see what I'm doing and that's our base onto the mailbox just pressing it all down from the inside and now you can see we have a glue tab for the back so I'm just putting some double-sided tape along there and we can get our back piece put into place so I'm just making sure that's all going to fit well remove the release paper and stick the base sorry the back of the mailbox onto that glue tab pushing it down from the other side and giving it a burnish now I'm going to expose the adhesive on the two side pieces to get this back attached and again I have to move it around so that you can get a better view taking my time making sure it's lined up correctly can't say that enough take your time with your projects it's worth it so give that a bit of a burnish along that tab and over to the other side and stick that into place I always seem to have trouble on one side when I'm working on a project but you just have to persevere if this happens to you and a good thing to remember is it's only paper and it will do what you want it to do you just need to be patient and hang in there so see I've got it glued down now and I'm going to burnish along that adhesive line as well so now we've got three sides of our mailbox together and we can move on to the lid so I have the lid here and I'm just putting it into place to make sure it's going to fit well and it's looking good and for the adhesive for the lid I don't use double sided tape on that edge I use Tombow model adhesive glue just seems to be easier to put it into position so I'm just applying glue to that edge and I do have to apologize for the background noise that you can hear during this video it's a very very windy day here in Melbourne today and it is the coldest weather we've had in a long time our winter is about to start in a few days so I think the weather is letting us know and getting us ready so I'm just taking care here to align the lid and I'm having a look from the top to make sure I'm happy with the position before pressing it down into place and I'm going to burnish it as well the only thing I like really about winter is it's good crafting weather the wind and the rain is not my favorite thing so we've got our finished mailbox here and the lids opening and closing well and everything's finished off nicely on the outside you can use decorator paper on the outside of your mailbox by creating decorator panels with the die set you would cut them out and then you would trim a small piece off around each edge so that you had a nice edge around and I did that on my mailbox what you can also do if you don't like that glue tab showing 
there, you can cut a piece of cardstock to size and glue it in attached to that back wall. And that finishes it off nicely and it is what I did with my mailbox. This one I'm not going to decorate, I just made it for the assembly tutorial to show you how to make it. Here is my mailbox that I made earlier in the week and I used decorator paper on mine as well by creating my own decorator panels with the die set and with the word mail I used the shadow and I cut that from the decorator paper then stacked the letters on top. For the letters in my mailbox I made my own envelopes with my envelope maker, 3 by 4 inches they are and I stuck them together so that in a way so that they would fit in that slot and hold themselves in. And I also put that extra cardstock piece inside to cover that glue tab. And I decorated my mailbox with flowers, leaves and vines. And this is a close up of how mine looks like. It's got cracked paint on it. And the letters just sit in there nicely. I'm super happy with how this came out. Don't forget to check the description box down below for the links to the products that I've used. Thanks for watching today, have a great day and bye for now.